the Honey Bee by Kristen Hall and Isabella Arsenault. A field, a tree, climate and sea. For miles all around you grow wild and free flowers. But then, shh, what's that? Do you hear it? You're near it. It's closer, it's coming, it's buzzing, it's humming. A bee! Four tiny wings, they buzz and they sing. They're clapping and flapping, the busy bees lapping. Lap, 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 tap, 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 searching, perching. This one. This is the flower the bee has chosen. This is the flower the pollen grows in. This is the flower, its color so bright. Its sweet blooming scent calls the bee from its flight. Such a long trip, it's time for a sip. Sugary, watery, nectar. There now it drills now, the bee sips and spills now. There now it swills now, it sits oh so still now. There now it fills now. It's back to the hill now. More pollen, more nectar, it's meal time. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, a crowd swarming and teeming and loud. Flapping, flying, landing, prying. All of this nectar, it's ours, it's ours. They work on the flowers for hours and hours until... Little bees with heavy sacks, lifting, shifting, turning back. Zoom, they race. Zoom, they chase. Zoom, they zoom and pick up the pace. And then, zoom, they see it up ahead. Our hive, our hive, our hiding place. Watch them arrive, watch how their hive buzz is alive, buzz. Where are the flowers you found today? Dance for us foragers, show us the way. A dance begins, waggle wiggle. The dance is lovely, tremble jiggle. The dance goes straight now in a line. A figure eight is the final sign. Oh, now we know, we know where to go. Thanks for the secrets and thanks for the show. New foragers leave on a searching mission while house bees march forward with hungry ambition. Chew, chew, that's what we do. We suck out the nectar, we suck it straight through. Chew, chew, we're changing its makeup. We're giving the nectar a chemical shakeup. Chew, chew, we make it like glue. Make it thick, make it stick. Make it slick, make it new. Chew, 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 chew. At last we're finally through. But there's more to do at home. Like fill the honeycomb, they jam its cells with nectar plaster, then rev up their engines and beat their wings faster. Whoosh, they're strong despite their size. Swoosh, the nectar cools and dries. It's getting thicker now, wings move quicker now. Fan fast, pump blast, we did it, we did it. It's honey at last.
And now to keep it safe, tiny honey cells are capped, liquid gold is sealed and trapped. And only when it's needed most, a hungry day will these vaults be tapped. Outside the hive come shorter days, cooler winds and softer rays, fewer eggs to birth and raise. With the queen less busy, the hives less buzzy, and bees amass all soft and fuzzy. Come now, rest, join our nest, huddle and cuddle, the winter's our test. Pop a bud, drip some mud. Creatures stir in the melting snow and inside the hive the bees they know. Hum, it's springtime, hum life anew. One little bee in a tree knows what to do. Watch it, zoom. A field, a tree, climate and sea, from a faraway hive flew this hard-working honey-sweet bee. Dear reader, I wrote this story for an important reason. The honeybee is one of our world's most marvelous creatures, and sadly it's in danger. In writing this book, I was hoping you might grow a new appreciation for the honeybee and that you'll join me in caring about its future. Honeybees are beautiful creatures. They're just like us. They live in families called colonies and in homes called hives. They work hard. Each bears on its tiny back a big responsibility toward the larger unit. Honeybees hum, they buzz, they zoom, they sip, they dance, and they even nestle. And while we shouldn't get too close to honeybees, they can sting. I wanted you to have an up-close look at all the wonderful things they do. What would the world be without honeybees? Without honeybees, we'd be in trouble. Honeybees fly from plant to plant, hunting for and